and welcome back to Bookish Theories. Today we catch up with New Jeans trying to break down the story told in Supernatural Part 1, Part 2 and Part X. We got a lot to unpack today, we got aliens, drama, mystery, love and very few clues to understand how to connect all these pieces together, so let's start from the song and go from there. Now Supernatural is a track that talks about two people falling in love in a stormy night that will change their life forever. The feelings they experience because of this fated encounter are so deep and unfamiliar that they are almost perceived as supernatural, and even if they are a bit scared, they still want to continue down this path and see the meaning of it. As they pay attention to what is coming through, they finally understand that love is sitting right next to them. Love is here, and as the sky clears and a golden moon appears surrounded by diamond stars, the two lovers unite in a supernatural moment they'll never forget. In the lyrics, the weather reflects the emotions they feel. When the girls fall in love for the first time, these emotions are compared to a stormy night and a cloudy sky. This is because falling in love causes as an inner turmoil. It's a storm of emotions mixing inside of you, which only gets worse as feelings get deeper. In turn, when they finally understand they are in love and it's crystal clear, the weather matches this clarity. Now the clouds are replaced by a golden moon and diamond stars because the storm has cleared and all the confusion has faded away. In the same way, the videos show us a similar parallel taking place. In the story, the girls are supernatural creatures coming from outer space. They are aliens hiding among humans, and as they try to live a normal life, something is coming and there's no way to avoid it. Like in the song, the story follows two plots developing side by side, one about love and the other involving the outside world. The love story centers around Hain, the youngest alien of the group, who falls in love with a human and is blinded by this feeling. When Minji gets in the way of this relationship, Hain is initially hurt by her behavior. She thinks that Minji is trying to steal the boy for herself, but little does she know that Minji is actually trying to protect her. As we see in a second, this is a love triangle angle that only exists in Hain's mind, because Minji's intentions are completely different from what she thinks. Minji's goal is to keep her sister safe, and she'll do whatever it takes in order to make that happen. Like in the song, in the videos the storm reflects Hain's inner turmoil. Not only she is falling in love for the first time, she is in a situation where her older sister is seemingly trying to steal her crush away from her, so the emotional storm she feels inside is metaphorically reflected by the storm raging outside. This storm, however, is also connected to the second plotline portrayed in the videos, which is a supernatural story about an alien race about to invade the planet. The aliens are a bunny race who fly to Earth with a fleet of bunny UFOs. The girls seemingly belong to this alien race, but they also settled on Earth before the others arrive. Now, to be honest, the role in this story is very much up for interpretation, but for me personally, New Jeans kind of play the role of scouts that went ahead in order to gather information about the planet. In both part 1 and part 2, we see that the girls are reporters for New Jeans news. Danielle is the weather forecast but the others work in the supernatural crew as well, and the look of this association is an eye. When they dance on the track, we see the satellite dish being shaped like an eye pointed at the sky, so to me the girls are learning information about Earth and then reporting back to the other aliens via satellite. Another reason why I think that this is an alien invasion story is actually a clue that we see from the very beginning. In part 1, the video opens with a shot of a skyline. The storm is brewing in the distance, but overall the city still looks normal. By the end, however, when the sky clears and we see the city again, we not only see a heart on the building, but the tower in the back has been bonified. Not only that, all the billboards full of ads that we saw at the beginning are now filled with black and white stripes, and to me this is a sign that the planet has been successfully invaded. In the videos, every alien animal that we see has stripes. We see the zebra at the beginning, the same one that Erin sees in the mirror, which obviously has stripes, fair enough. But then in part X, we also see alien bunnies with stripes, and the fish in Annie's headphones also featuring the same attribute. As we see in a bit, I also think that the moon and the stars are yet another sign that the world has been conquered, but I'm getting ahead on myself. Let me start from the beginning so that everything is clear. Now, as I said before, part 1 begins with the city still normal, but in the back the storm is fast approaching and the signs already give us a few clues about what the story will be about. Some of them are way too grainy to read, but a few of them are very clear. We see signs like future is coming, for instance, which foreshadows the arrival of the aliens that we see in part X. Then we have Earth.zip. This one seems to refer to files about the planet that have been compressed so they can be transferred more easily. If that's the case, this sign might actually confirm the theory that New Jeans are scouts reporting information to the aliens. They send info about the planet to their people and now their people are coming. As to why they're actually coming, this too may be alluded to in the video. You see, the fact that at the end we see a heart on the building makes me think that the aliens' intentions is not to destroy Earth, but rather to save it. Like the song says, 
says, when you pay attention to what's coming through, you realize that love is here, meaning that these aliens are actually bringing love to the world. Some of the signs seem to confirm this as well. We see words like flower, sustain, the grass is greener when you water it, which are all messages somehow related to nature and nurture. If you look closely, the only human that we see in the video, which is Hain's crush, is a bit uncaring to the world that surrounds him. When they are on the rooftop, Minji sees him throwing the can off the balcony, and when they are on the boat, they do this drunk and littering yet again. In turn, the girls use solar panels to power the satellite, and throughout the entire video, the only time that we see a plant is in their hideout in the factory. The flowers and plants the girls surround themselves with are the only ones that we see in the entire video, so there seems to be a comparison being made here. Humans don't care about the planet, but aliens do, so they bring love here to make everything better. The grass is greener when you water it is also interesting because, well, the main event of the story is a storm, which is something that brings rain and literally waters the city. In part 1, we see Danny having the power of storm, so who knows, maybe they are the one causing it to begin with. If the sky is cloudy, people don't see the aliens coming, so maybe it's something to conceal the invasion. In part 2, when Danielle is weather forecasting, you can see a UFO flying by, but in the storm it can also pass as lightning. If Danny is causing it or just reporting on it, I don't know for sure, but the storm seems to have supernatural connotations either way. In part 1, we get a glimpse of the puzzle in the paper, and the keywords to find are all connected to each other. The main word is obviously supernatural, which is defined as something beyond what is comprehensible to human or nature. The other keywords, though, are all intertwined with the supernatural, so all of them are important to the story. The first definition to guess is six letters, time to come. Since the billboard already told us the future is coming, I'd say that the answer is future, which is full of supernatural events as seen in part text. The second word is weather with strong winds, referring to the storm. And last but not least, we have five letters, movies of the mind, the answer being dream. Now, this might actually refer to several things here. For one, we know for a fact that at one point, Hain has a nightmare about Minji and her crush. As I said before, initially she thinks that Minji wants the guy for herself, so in part 2 there's a whole dream sequence where Minji seduces the boy with a perfume that only older girls can wear. It's a movie of the mind that Hain is having and that highlights her insecurities, so the keyword in the puzzle might refer to that. If we take a look at the story as a whole, however, the entire vibe and aesthetic of the videos have a dreamlike quality to them, not to mention that we enter this world through a TV screen. The girls themselves have opening credits at the beginning, so it's like we're watching a movie of the mind when new jeans play characters in a fictional work. The reality of supernatural is not real, it's a fantasy, a dream, and it's meant to be taken as such. One moment they are at the airport, the next they are watching themselves dancing there, while being live on a truck in a completely different place. While it's true that the girls have superpowers, and Honey especially is seen multiplying herself, I also think that the story is meant to be a bit disjointed and difficult to put in order. If you consider the story as a dream, a movie of the mind, then it makes total sense that the girls are in four places at once and seem to be doing different things at the same time. Like in a dream, the story has a beginning, a middle and an end, but not everything happens in a linear and realistic way, even if it still makes sense once you look at the bigger picture. At the beginning, for instance, the story opens with an alien zebra making its way downtown. To me, this is an omen of what's to come, almost like a messenger foreshadowing the upcoming arrival of the aliens. As the zebra goes to find the girls, a new jeans get to the airport to take a supernatural flight. The airport setting here implies that they're leaving to go somewhere else, and while we never actually see them boarding the plane, we do see that at the end they end up reuniting with their people on the UFO. To me the airport is meant to foreshadow this ending, not to mention that in the back we also see the people in their crew leaving as well. These friends are all carrying alien masks, so this might imply that they too are aliens about to go back to base. As the storm approaches and the flights seemingly get delayed however, Ain meets a boy at the vending machines and she immediately falls for him. The dude seems to like her as well, but Minji says not on my watch and starts getting in the way. She interrupts them when they play around, she steals his attention when he's focusing on Hain, and Hain is very hurt by that. Thing is that Minji is actually trying to protect her sister. On the rooftop she saw the guy littering, possibly judging him for his bad behavior, and because of that she decides to put an end to this relationship even before it begins. In the video we see that Minji is very protective towards her sisters, but she would also like to be free to express herself. Back at their house for instance, she has an argument with Dani while Dani is minding her business and the other honeys are fangirling over new jeans. As seen in the behind the scenes, the main point of the argument is whether or not to reveal their identity to humans. Honey is completely against it because they'd be in danger. People already comfort them for not being normal, so they should lay low and keep the secret. Minji instead thinks that it's no 
count their responsibility and what's truly important is for the five of them to always be together as one. By the end of the conversation, they agree to keep things as they are for now, but this might be easier said than done. Doing a photo shoot, in fact, Erin sees the alien zebra in a mirror. It seems that the animal has found them and is now getting into contact with them, but in part two we see that Erin gets distracted by a paper bird getting ruined during the shoot. This upsets her to the point of causing a power outage in front of everyone, after which she runs away as Minji follows. In part one we also have a scene with Erin riding the zebra now turned unicorn, but to be honest I have no idea what's going on here. This is one of those scenes that literally seem to exist just for the sake of it, because there's no payoff to this and no further reference to the zebra. If we consider that in part two Hain's dream was completely indistinguishable from reality, I would say that this too might be a dream, this time with Erin wishing to run away. This might also fit with her running away in part two, but that aside I have no idea to be honest. Back with Hain, Minji and the human though, things are about to escalate and it's not the only thing doing so. Thanks to Danielle reporting for New Jeans News, we discovered that there is an increase in unusual weather events, after which the TV tells us that there is also a surge in unidentified species. The aliens are coming at this point. They arrived with the storm, and as the anomalies are growing, so are the sightings of these aliens. As Minji tries to divide Dain and the dude, Erin is fully aware of what's going on, but she's also minding her own business. At this point, the storm is finally clearing, and this means that it's also time for Minji to finally explain herself and make peace with Ain. The reason why Minji was acting that way was not because she wanted to steal Hain's crush, it was because she wanted to protect her from disappointment. On the boat she explains that when she was younger she used to befriend everybody, but no matter what she did, people always ended up leaving her. Minji didn't want Hain to go through the same thing, so instead of allowing the boy to hurt her, she decided to get in the way first. Sure enough, the boy shows his true colors at this point. While they're talking, he shows up wasted and littering, which essentially proves Minji's point. This finally leads us to part X, which shows what happens when the future eventually comes. In the future, the aliens are successfully taken over, and now Honey is showing her true face. Much like in the song, moreover, by the end the girls and their loved ones reunite, and we see a bunny fleet of UFOs orbiting Earth. In the sky, these UFOs shine bright like stars, and as we see our planet from a distance, striped bunnies seem to have successfully taken over the moon. If you remember, towards the beginning I told you that the golden moon and the diamond stars were also signs of the alien invasion and the reason why I told you that is because of what we see in this scene right here. The diamond stars of the song are actually the UFOs blinking in the sky, the same ones that from Earth look like stars when the storm clears. In the same way, the giant golden moon that we see after the storm is the location where the alien bunnies now live. This view that we see in part X is the view from the colonized moon and the diamond stars that are actually UFOs. We look at them and they look at us, so by the end the bunnies not only took over the world, but they also invaded the golden moon. This is all I have for you today, but now I want to know what are your thoughts about Supernatural and what are your theories about the story. If you enjoyed this video, please think about liking and subscribing. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!